Have you ever downloaded a sermon that you missed, pulled out your iPod or your phone, put your headphones on and pressed play, only to be greeted by this terrible buzzing sound overlaid on the speaker, so loud that you could hardly hear what it was even being said? Audio hum and buzz is absolutely obnoxious, but it's a huge pain to try to deal with. So today, we're going to give you a few tips for trying to get rid of that terrible audio hum on your recordings. Now, we're only going to be looking at the most common forms of hum, or you might think of it like buzz, but we often call it hum, and that is AC ground loop. Now, there are other things that could cause audio buzz or hum, but we're going to deal with those in different videos. The first step in dealing with ground loop is trying to figure out where it's coming from. Now, if you're hearing the buzz in your live venue, the easiest way to do this is start by unplugging everything and sticking everything back into your snake or into your board one at a time until the buzzing returns. Once you know what device is causing the hum, you can actually work on getting rid of it. Now, if you're only hearing the buzz in the recording, then most likely it's coming from a device after your soundboard, either your recorder, your computer, something like that. That's a good way to narrow down what's going, where the source is. And once we know where the source is, we can talk about how to eliminate it. Often you'll find that the source of the noise is the result of a ground loop from using an unbalanced audio input into your balanced audio system. You can find more information about balanced versus unbalanced audio in the description of today's video. We're just going to kind of gloss over that for the sake of some pragmatic tips. A great solution to dealing with ground loop can be to use a direct box, which takes an unbalanced signal and turns it into a balanced signal and actually can be run in reverse to do the opposite in certain cases. Now, once you've got your direct box in place, if you're still getting the buzz, try flipping that ground lift switch and oftentimes you'll find that your hum completely disappears. Another extremely common place that hum can be introduced into your recordings is if you're using some kind of a computer to record your audio. Because of the way that modern facilities or not modern facilities are wired and all of the different electrical components involved, you can easily get buzzing and humming because of the differences in potential between your computer and your, record and your soundboard, your audio source, wherever it's coming from. A way around this is to use a dedicated audio recording device. This lets you take your audio and put it right into a box that isn't a computer, and this can also serve as a great backup. Um, if you don't have that option available, again, you can run a direct box in reverse, which can sometimes solve that problem of the buzzing or humming. If you're still having trouble, one common place to look is your projector. If you've got a projector on the same computer that you're recording your audio, try pulling that projector off and see if it goes away. If it's still there, then the source is somewhere else. But if it goes away, you might find a way to isolate that or again, use a different device to record. One of the great things about a standalone audio recorder, besides the fact that it can eliminate this hum, is that now you have a dedicated device that isn't subject to software updates or random intermittent software conflicts that are kind of cause it to hang up or crash and lose your recording. We highly recommend that you use a standalone device if possible, and they're very affordable now. We've included some links below to some devices that we recommend. Audio engineering is a complicated topic, and we've only barely scratched the surface of the causes of buzz and hum in an audio system. Hopefully something that we've talked about today will help you in your system, but subscribe to our channel and come back for more videos in the future when we'll deal with other topics that could be causing problems for you and other ways to improve the quality of your audio overall. Well, if you have any other tips or tricks for getting rid of buzz and hum in your audio recordings, leave those in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel to support us and to be notified when we release other tips and tricks videos. And give Sermons.io a try. For Sermons.io, I'm Jeff McFadden, and we'll see you next time.